Hey, what up, guys? I'm gonna show you real quick how to flash your 9XR Pro to the newest ER9X uh, firmware. So, the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you connect your USB or anything, you're gonna wanna get this in uh, bootloader mode. So, the way you do uh, bring up the bootloader is you hold the aileron and rudder trims in like this, and while you're holding them in, power on your um, radio <clears throat> so when you power it on you're gonna see it says bootloader uh, version 1.1 or I don't know if yours might say something else but uh, yeah as long as it says bootloader you're good don't worry about the other things down here so after you have it uh, showing bootloader uh, mode or the bootloader menu you're gonna want to plug this in to your uh, PC. So get the USB cable. It's gonna be a mini USB. Okay. And plug it into the bottom USB port underneath your radio. Right there. It's gonna install a driver for you automatically. You don't gotta do nothing. Right there, it'll say connecting. That means you're connected. On your computer, you'll probably get two uh, windows with uh, two removable drives. One of them showing ER Sky 9X, and one of them is showing you removable disk. That doesn't matter right now at all. So go ahead and uh, just close these out. So the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, after you have the USB hooked up and it's in bootloader, you're going to want to download the software and you can just easily Google um, EEPE and it will bring you to the page or I'll provide you a link in the description. So go ahead and download the Windows installer. It's going to be a zip file and after you have it uh, downloaded, just extract it. So after you extract it, go to it, it'll be called a uh, EEPE install. You're just going to want to run the software. Say yes. You agree. Next. Next. Install. So let everything install. So at the very end of the install, it'll say uh, completed the EEPE. PE in setup wizard. Um, it says you want to launch it. Un don't select this. Make sure you uncheck that and select finish. I'll just tell you why right now. You have to launch the EEP Sky E1 right here, not the EEP E1. So yeah, make sure you lo you use the one that says uh, Sky E at the end. All right, and then this will come up. Make sure you read this. Okay. Then push OK, and then you'll get the main screen like this. Now the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select File, and then you're going to want to select Oops, there go File, and then you're going to want to select Preferences, and then this menu pops up. So make sure everything is uh, correct the way you want it. I just leave everything the way it is, just to be honest with you. And then you're going to want to push check. It's going to check for any updates. No updates available at this time. And then you're going to want to push download. Now you're going to want to remember where you um, download this. So I just downloaded it in my documents. Just make a folder, whatever folder is. Open the folder up. There's the file name. Just put save. And it'll go ahead and it'll um, save it. Just remember where you downloaded that, alright guys? I saved it in my documents in a new folder. 
All right, just make sure you remember wherever you downloaded it. And then push OK. So after that's done, you're going to want to go to Burn. And you're going to want to go to Configure. Now right here where it says use SMABA, make sure that's unchecked, okay? You don't want this checked. So make sure you uncheck it. And then push OK. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to Burn and select Flash Firmware to TX. Now, remember I told you uh, make sure you s you remember where you save where you save that file at. So it's gonna ask you for that file where you downloaded at, and just go to it and select it. And now it's gonna say write ER Sky 9 XR ROM bin to flash memory. Now before you select yes, make sure everything's connected, make sure you're in the bootloader menu, got your USB connected. Alright, and then push yes. So it'll bring this up, and then it'll say, it'll write it, and then it'll say, operation is successful and push OK so that's it you went ahead and you flashed the newest version to your um, radio so go ahead and power this off and then you know it, it'll stay connected and then just disconnect this mm -hmm. alright and now when you power it on. Welcome to the Trinity 9XR Pro. That's it, it'll come up with the 9XR Pro. You could always check the version. Fish menu, hold menu down, go to radio setup. The version, so right there. This is the newest version so far, it's R2. 